my name is uh, Calvin Ng, and I'm from Hong Kong, Chinese University of Hong Kong, and I'm the moderator for uh, the SEAT session today. I'm very privileged to be able to introduce to you um, uh, Dr. Yoshio Sunezuka uh, from the Department of General Thoracic Surgery, uh, Ishikawa uh, Prefecture General Hospital um, in Kanazawa in, from Japan. Um, I prefer, believe he's <clears throat> very uh, qualified indeed um, to uh, present this topic of uh, basically uh, endoscopic stapler selection uh, on bleeding at the vascular stump uh, in the pulmonary art after the pulmonary artery transection because he's done extensive research recently in this in this topic, I believe. So I'll pass the time uh, to uh, Dr. Yoshio, or yours. Okay, thank you. Arigato, Shishi. これ、これ、こっちだ。ここ、エランドラン、これやろ。はい。共有。で、これを、これちょっと消そうか。スライドショー。うん。うん。今出た。で、ダメやん。え?もう逆。Oh, okay. Good evening. Good evening. Damian. Yeah, on a my, all right, that's it. You, so that. Okay. Good evening. Thank you, Chairperson, Doctor Eng, for your kind of introduction. Uh, I'm Dr. Tsunezuka Ishika Prefecture Central Hospital. I'm honored to be able to speak to you. Uh, here is not an arrogant Congress venue, but uh, a hospital in Japan uh, because of the nasty uh, coronavirus. Uh, you can hopefully take something away from my lecture. <clears throat> my lecture title is The Impact of Endoscopic Stapler Selection Breeding at the Vajiga Stamp in Pulmonary Artery Transaction. Uh, clinical and experimental study of stapler selection. What I want to talk about today is uh, the anatomy uh, of the pulmonary artery as a stapler object, the eff efficiency of the power to HLM flex 7 for the division of pulmonary arteries. Uh, this slide is the anatomy of the middle sized. Uh, uh, artery such as a pulmonary artery and the pulmonary artery were constructed through layers and an uh, inner layer composed of anterior cells, a uh, middle layer consisting of smooth muscle cell uh, and the outer adventure layer formed of fibroblast, connective tissue and nerve endings. The wall thickness of the main pulmonary artery about one millimeter uh, rubular or segmental arteries uh, from 0.2 uh, to uh, 0.5 millimeter, and its intima is about 0.03 millimeter. Pulmonary blood pressure is usually a lot uh, lower than systemic blood pressure. The mean pressure is typically 8 to 20 millimeters of mercury at rest. The pulmonary arteries have seen this timbre wall with less elastic tissue uh, than the systemic arteries. Therefore, the wall of pulmonary artery is seen at very weak fragility. Pulmonary artery is formed uh, with uh, three layers. Point, point, point. Oh, so, so, so. Mm. The outermost cyst is uh, connective tissue of the uh, basal band with capillary and uh, middle layer, number two, middle layer uh, uh, is a connective tissue and the inner layer, uh, number one, uh, uh, is a circular artery cyst. The lymph vessel that exists between the inner and the middle layers, theoretically in Japan, some leading surgeons assert that uh, we have to resect the inner layer of the cyst 
uh, to a systemic dissection of lymph nodes and lymph vessels. But it's, it is sometimes impossible or challenging to do because of inflammation was wall invasion of cancer. And as another problem, the arterial wall become weak by peeling the vessels. The significance of the significance of basal cysts uh, dissection uh, on this slide. The first aim to separate lymph nodes and lymph vessels from pulmonary arteries, external membrane. Basal cysts uh, dissection is for purpose of court the lymph node dissection. Next, uh, to ligate and uh, to resect the pulmonary artery in safety because the cis rejection can elongate the pulmonary artery. This applies to use a, a stapler, but this weakens the blood vessel strength adversely uh, because the blood vessel cis is a composition that most strongly prescribes the power of the blood vessel. And uh, the third purpose is to determine whether inflammatory lymph nodes or metastatic lymph nodes don't inflate a vascular wall. If we are not going to try to dissect the basal cysts containing adjacent lymph nodes, we cannot judge absolutely whether the lymph nodes can be divided. This video is an operation of dissecting of basal cysts. Almost all Japanese surgical surgeon perform vessel cysts dissecting to isolate the vessel before the division of the vessel. After cyst dissection, the left interlobar pulmonary artery is divided. There are many cysts like layers of uh, onion skins. Maybe this particular technique is unique only to Japan because all surgeons are educated that this pressure is essential for division of vessel. Therefore, uh, I guess that the traded pulmonary artery is more fragile than that of uh, other countries. Uh, we change the method of division by the diameter of the blood vessel. In a case that a pulmonary artery is seen or short, it is dissected with uh, suture ligation. <clears throat> And the artery referred gel, maybe the blood vessel is less than a four millimeter diameter. Uh, it's an energy device only, such as the energy device after ligation of the central site with suture, uh, such as a harmony scalpel or a vessel sealing system. Most of segmental pulmonary arteries are divided with suture material uh, and not pusher. We usually choose the surgeon bloated nylon suture, thick pulmonary arteries with a diameter of 10 millimeter or more uh, divided with scapulas. Staplers uh, concre uh, concretely, uh, in concrete, the left A3 branch, right trunk superior, and uh, bilateral uh, basal arteries are necessary to, to be divided with a stapler. This slide uh, is uh, shown the construction of vascular staples and staplers. As you can see in a figure A, <clears throat> the vascular staple is different from other staplers. Vascular staple forms a tighter B shape uh, than a general staple. Figure B is a linear stapler job from the side view. We know on firing on the stapler, uh, stapler the focus downward against the ambient and conformed to their characteristic shape. The stapler con continue past this cut line to ensure uh, hemostasis. Usually, the standard roll is uh, three parallel rows uh, of staples on either side of the cut line, uh, but power addition on flex seven has the two parallel lines. So bleeding or oozing uh, from uh, pulmonary arteries after stapling has multiple. <clears throat> Mainly, I think uh, the significant aspects are the surgical stapling technique and the stapling device itself.
I introduced an article about the adverse events of vascular stapling. <clears throat> this article aims to assess the risk level of using the vessel stapling uh, procedures to reduce such adverse events. This paper uh, uh, is uh, uh, when I say a conclusion earlier, the primary vessel stapling causes stress due to the twisting twisting and uh, lifting that degrees stamps durability. Avoiding such stress uh, when using a stapler for vessel raise to uh, a safety surgery. Comparisons were made under the following four conditions as the stress applied to the vessel on the firing mechanical staplers. Group A is no strain and uh, group B is only lifting lifting of a uh, primary artery. Group C is only twisting, and uh, group D is both lifting and twisting. As animal experiments, the, the left primary arteries were used from the excised cardiopulmonary blocks of pigs. <coughs> the primary arteries were stapled by powered echelon seven with a white cartridge. During surgery, twisting and lifting were assumed as a possible situation causing a vascular dissection. The pressure was measured at the point of fluid leakage uh, from the stamps. In the left figure, uh, the pressure was significantly lower in a twisting group uh, than a uh, no strain group. And uh, the left figure, uh, regarding the shape of the stamps, the step line deformation uh, tended to occur under uh, uh, stressful conditions. In conclusion, the author said that the stress of pulmonary vessels such as sweet twisting and lifting degrees the stamps durability. This slide, this uh, video, is uh, stapling with a tri-stapler lifting at switching PA. We have experienced the same some cases of wheezing and bleeding. This video demonstrated a demonstrated resection of the right lower primary artery with signature tri-stapler gray cartridge. We know the primary artery lifted and twisting. Major bleeding is caused by the stapling itself at the end of stapling. But I think the surgical stapling technique may cause this. I wanna draw your attention to the bleeding site. You can see a tear near, tear near the stapler. Seeing the case, some surgeons complain that the stapler is terrible by itself but I think that the surgeon's skill is awful, have a problem. Thus, bleeding is a matter of course, and the surgeon should reflect on this result. This case is a similar case, uh, but the using stabilization flex seven. The pulmonary artery is lifted and twisted. You can see the pulmonary artery is compressed and deformed. Fortunately, major bleeding did not occur, but slight blood came oozing through the stump. After stapling, I thought that Asian Flex 7 was perfect for uh, covering surgeon scale. What kind of stapler should I use for a primary vessel? What are suitable stapler systems and cartridge? And what are the essential factors to prevent adverse events of vascular stapling, such as losing and sharing of the vessel? Using gray cartridge with senior stapler, the rate of losing is very high, very high rate, but I couldn't figure the reason out. So I was I investigated the intraoperative bleeding frequency by several uh, stapler dams. 
This slide is comparison of stable, several staples. This table uh, comparison a linear stapler and powered echelon seven, echelon end pass uh, and reloads and end GI grade cartridge. As we see at uh, the length, each stapled body part, leg length, crown length, closed heights, diameter are almost the same length. The closed height of the gray cartridge is 0 0.75 millimeters, slightly short, but I think it is a narrow range because Metronic thinks both stapler cartridges are adapting to the pulmonary artery. So I, uh, ex I have experienced some interoperative pulmonary artery oozing or bleeding. The frequency varied according to the staples kind, except uh, or a certain technique. This our article's purpose is to assess pulmonary artery bleeding. The means of bleeding is of concluding oozing following transaction uh, of the pulmonary artery with several powered and manu manual staples. The objective pulmonary artery is the right apical anterior torrent of the pulmonary artery. The ALS is torrent superior as the anatomical technical term in Latin, divided by several, several staplers and are reviewed re retrospectively. A stapler should reject this pulmonary artery in right upper lobectomy. I select this artery as a target <coughs> because it is available for stable excision in a natural state. This artery is always divided by stapler from same port. For example, another pulmonary artery such as basal pulmonary artery or a lower pulmonary artery needs to be lifted relatively highly with such a material. There is an artery of various diameter and we used several ports uh, to insert a stapler to resect those pulmonary arteries. We make it a rule to divide the right anterior torrents by a stapler through the seventh intercostal port at the mid axillary line. This procedure is standard in multiple bats and general open thoracotomy. Usually we insert a scope through the seventh intercostal port, but when the sixth, the right anterior torrent, we move the scope to the anterior utility port, and we use the scope as a light source to uh, record the procedure. We can perform stable excision by a stapler from the same intercostal seventh intercostal of the port <coughs> mid axillary line. Therefore, the right anterior torrent is special to be stable on a dividing te technically by a stapler. This is uh, the results of my uh, article. <clears throat> this, this slide is evaluation of uh, interoperative bleeding after transaction of pulmonary artery by endoscopic stapler. Patients were divided in three groups. This group one is, is cases with powered echelon seven PBS group. <clears throat> and group two is with powered echelon, uh, powered end GIA I drive, I drive electrical uh, stapler. This stapler uh, are using white, uh, gray, and camel cartridge. And group three is uh, uh, with manual stapler group uh, using end GIA universal and echelon flex end pass uh, using white gray and tank cartridges. And breeding cases uh, the, is uh, a definition interoperative oozing or breeding is di uh, difficult, but in this paper, uh, the bleeding point with uh, goes for about 10 seconds. 
In more breeding continuous cases, we need further compression and use a soft coagulation device or a suture to achieve complete hemostasis. As you know, the, uh, in a group one, echelon flex seven, uh, breeding case is nothing. There are no, uh, no cases uh, of breeding cases, but uh, group two and GI I drive and gray cartridge uh, is a uh, uh, many, many patients uh, uh, breeding about 20, 22.5%. And manual stapler, uh, in, a, in a case of, with a manual stapler, uh, is 29.2 uh, uh, case, 20% of, of breeding cases. And uh, uh, the most cases and the GI ultra, uh, stapler uh, gray cartridge. Overall, losing after stapling occur, <clears throat> 24 cases uh, among uh, 239 cases. This rate is uh, about 10%. Most of breeding cases occurred in a group two. And uh, as a whole, no breeding case required suturing and most breeding originated from the pulmonary artery, rejecting stamp of the rejected lung. <clears throat> 14 cases uh, of a breeding case required a soft coagulation device uh, and no case requires uh, intervention and no cases of delayed breeding, no catastrophic uh, breeding situation. The, uh, this graph is a relationship between breeding rate and close ambiguous space uh, of several staplers. The echelon 7, in a case of the echelon 7, how the echelon 7 is uh, uh, very, very narrow uh, ambiguous space, uh, a wide uh, ambiguous space. Uh, the, uh, no, no breeding case. A case with closed ambiguous space, uh, uh, ID gray, gray cartridges, is more narrow, the rate of breeding was higher. This slide is comparison of two type powered endoscopy staplers. Left is end GIA I drive. And uh, right is echelon 7 part vascular stapler. Figure B is the comparison of jaw angle. Both of the same uh, 15 degrees. And uh, figure C is histological findings after pulmonary artery stapling. Uh, Histological section of pulmonary artery tissue adjacent the stable areas was stained with elastic Wangison stain. The stain used to demonstrate it, uh, elastic fibers in uh, uh, tissue sections, uh, especially in a vessel. Elastic fibers accumulate in a tunica media layer. The pulmonary artery section is formed stapling with the end GI I drive plus gray cartridge. This white arrow indicates the ruptured medial layer of the pulmonary artery. Ruptures were observed in the tunica media and the intima in histological sections from pulmonary artery stapling cases using the end GI I drive loaded with gray cartridges. In contrast, no ruptures of the pulmonary artery wall were observed from cases using the Asian 7 powered vascular stapler. I'd like to emphasize that the structure of ambiguous narrow space induced vascular injury. The best stapler for a pulmonary artery is echelon 7 
Yes, you're on flex seven. Ambiguous gap to prevent an excessively high compression. <clears throat> It is uh, in conclusion, it is high in the completeness of echelon flex seven in a pulmonary artery separating and cutting apart. Because the structure of ambidual narrow space is suit for a uh, pulmonary artery does not induce vascular surgery. Thank you very much for listening. Okay, thank you very much indeed, uh, Dr. Yoshio. Um, learn a lot from the uh, Japanese way of dissecting the blood vessels and also um, learned really a lot from the way that you should be handling uh, the vessel when you're stapling to optimize the performance to try to minimize um, the bleeding. So um, I congratulate you on a very nice paper. Um, many of the things were controlled for as far as possible. For example, you are just stapling um, the you know one vessel on the right upper lobe to standardize the procedure, and you're stapling it through the seventh in the costal space as well. Um, so the direction is coming in uh, with minimal twisting, minimal tension, etc. Um, I actually read that paper and I find it very interesting. So in fact, the um, automatic staplers. Um, I'm not doing as well, um, it seems, or doing the worst. The worst is the automatic stapler. Um, oh, at first, uh, I think the automatic stapler is a superior to a manual stapler uh, because of a uh, uh, terrible and tremor of hand stapling. Uh, but uh, the, our outcome is a uh, uh, contra contrast and uh, uh, the manual stapler is not superior to uh, uh, electric, uh, uh, automatic, automatic electric, electrical stapler is not superior to a manual stapler uh, because uh, the most incidence of a uh, 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 terrible of uh, a vascular uh, war is uh, 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 jo, jo, uh, uh, between the uh, uh, the distance of a uh, uh, cartridge and uh, 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 arm barrel, and uh, the, uh, the distance of the title of uh, uh, your gap uh, is the most uh, incident of, uh, to injury of a uh, uh, pulmonary artery. And so uh, at first, uh, I think uh, uh, electric, electrical stapler is superior uh, to a manual stapler, uh, but uh, uh, it is not correct. So uh, <clears throat> uh, each stapler is okay to a result of, of pulmonary artery. <clears throat> I just see the um, endo GI drive is the most automatic stapler, but doing the worst. Um, do you think um, having the automatic closure mechanism it can be too strong, the closure, because um, with the manual staplers, you close with your hand and with the PVS, you also close with your hand. You only use the automatic stapling of the cartilage. Yeah, but yeah. the high drive, do you think it needs some kind of pressure sensor, sense the pressure on the tissue or sense the gap? Do you think that could be an improvement for the eye drive in the future? Is that the problem? Yeah, yeah. I think I, I agree with you. Uh, uh, <clears throat> the uh, uh, st stability, rigidity, rigidity of the or uh, the top of the stapler is uh, very important to uh, uh, not to uh, injure the vascular uh, uh, wall. Uh, so uh, the, uh, I think it is important to uh, uh, introduce the sensor of uh, pressure. Uh, of a uh, uh, stamp, a stamp of a uh, staple. Uh, uh, but uh, the, the <laughs> very, very special staple is uh, uh, not uh, uh, appeared, and uh, I, I saw uh, or 
I have not already uh, see the uh, elegant uh, special step up, but uh, in future, uh, uh, I, I, uh, the, uh, it is uh, very suitable for uh, uh, stapling of uh, uh, fragile or uh, pulmonary artery. Yeah, maybe the closure is too strong because of the eye drive, you press a button and it goes zzz, and it closes yeah. and you, yeah, you keep it keeps closing and it's really strong. Maybe yeah. I, I, I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I, so yeah, I, I will be interested to um, if next your next uh, study, perhaps uh, if you are doing robotic surgery would be to look at the uh, XI stapler, <laughs> which also automatically closes. Mm and automatically fires uh -huh. the Da Vinci and see if there's a problem there as well. <laughs> yeah, but unfortunately, I, I use the SI system of uh, 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 Da Vinci system, SI. Uh -huh. uh, uh, yeah, uh, but uh, uh, and my, my pro, uh, uh, intro, the, the, uh, the, the top of uh, this hospital, my, our hospital is did not buy a uh, uh, XI XI uh, dubbing system. Okay, so uh, is your hospital manager listening to this uh, talk? Maybe your hospital manager can um, uh, yeah. sponsor you to buy XI to run this study next study. <laughs> <laughs> Very important. Uh, Maybe expensive, yeah. expensive, expensive. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> the you know uh, the other interesting thing I saw on your paper is. Um, you saw the bleeding with the uh, with the eye drive, but uh, interestingly, the bleeding is from uh, a lot of it is from the specimen side, mm -hmm. not from the patient side. Is that is that correct, or am, am I wrong? Oh. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, the stump uh, is the bleeding is from the specimen, the, the, the lung Dejected side, side. Dejected side. Dejected, uh, no. mm. not patient side, Dejected. not patient side. Yeah, yes. that is a bit. Uh, a little bit strange to me. Is is there an explanation for that? Maybe the uh, we reject the uh, and uh, uh, superior trunk superior artery, but uh, I operated at first the uh, reject uh, of a uh, superior pulmonary vein, and next uh, we treated the uh, trunk superior. So. Uh, uh, Many, many, much, much blood uh, in a uh, uh, exists ex ex exist in a uh, upper lobe. So, uh, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, so uh, the bleeding is occur in a, uh, at a, a rejected site. I see, I see. And you deal with it with some cautery, with some diathermy, with some with some yeah, electro yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I see, I see. Um, do you have any experience of using uh, clips at all? Do you like using clips for segmental arteries? No. No. So, or, or ligature. Only ligature. Only ligature or ligation or uh, some energy device. Okay. I, I see. Very, very interesting. Okay. Um, are there any questions from uh, people on the, f on the, on the floor? Um, okay. So, uh, Dr. Yoshio, are you able to read the comment? Yeah, you must. Oh, turn stable seem to be equivalent to PB in both. What are you comment on that? Yes, oh, the jaw, the jaw space is uh, similar to uh, uh, Flex 7. Stapler, tan, tan cartridge uh, is uh, same to uh, flex seven, uh, and uh, I, I don't I I don't understand and I don't know the uh, both I drive and the manual form is the same. Uh, <clears throat> I research uh, the uh, dual space uh, with. Uh, uh, Stacks of paper. So, uh, uh, what are your comments on that? The both in the both, I'd write in my home. Mm. Tan, uh, 
the result is uh, the, trans the, the joule space of a tan stapler is uh, similar to uh, uh, the space of uh, uh, flex 7. So a uh, uh, braiding case is nothing uh, with using uh, tan staplers. Uh, therefore, uh, mm, uh, I drive or uh, manual uh, stapler, uh, electric electrical stapler or a manual stapler is uh, uh, not uh, impossible uh, 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 no, uh, is not uh, uh, important important to uh, injury uh, the uh, blood vessel okay thank you um, I think uh, and this uh, uh, hasn't has a question um, so it's asking about what uh, we feel about using clips for vessels between five to 10 millimeters in size. Um, I think I'm quite happy to use clips. We have uh, uh, Hemolock and Grenner clips. They are the, the plastic clips. Um, I try not to use the titanium clips uh, usually, um, except for very small vessels. Um, so that's uh, that's my own um, opinion. And now the clip applicators are quite good. It has um, angulation and you can rotate it around. So it's quite easy to apply. But the problem of using clips, of course, is that it's uh, quite bulky um, because the clips themselves, the mechanism is quite bulky. And also um, you have to be careful that when you apply staplers in the future that you don't include the clips or the clips don't affect the function of the stapler. Otherwise you can have a, a, a big problem. Mm -hmm. um, and the, there's also a, a, a comment about uh, the different colored um, staples and the, comparing with the vascular staples. Um, I, 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 yeah, there, there were different heights uh, in the table but I think um, I think if you still look at the the, the staples that were similar um, in closing heights they are uh, still shows I think um, slight advantage for uh, the PVS and also the the manual staplers um, compared with the I drive um, so um, but you can yes yeah, it's, it's, it's very difficult to get a direct comparison often because there's mm -hmm. slight differences even in the closing height of the staples of uh, of uh, 0.75 to one millimeter versus one millimeter. Um, yeah, Punarak, hello. Uh, looking at the histological pathology photo, it seems there's quite thick perivascular tissue. It is your intention to leave those tissue around the PA. Um, are you able to answer that, uh, Dr. Yoshio? Yeah. I think your way of dissecting the blood vessel is that you take away the sheath, right? So mm. it should be quite thin. Yeah. What, what is left of your, when you're stapling? Am I, am I right in saying that? Yeah, maybe um, the scale of that, I've got the, I've got your paper actually. Um, I don't um, see the, I don't see the scale. So oh, it's multiplied by 200. So I don't know what that means in terms of the thickness of that compressed histological uh, yeah, yeah, specimen. Yeah. Maybe uh, um, uh, tight pressure indicates the rupture of uh, my medial area of a pulmonary artery. Uh, so uh, we have experienced the regular uh, uh, using the rigor shield, the uh, invagination of the medial layer and the inner layer, uh, uh, so uh, and uh, uh, intraoperative bleeding uh, occurred. I experienced so uh, uh, <clears throat> the uh, there are many causes of bleeding of uh, pulmonary artery. Uh, the uh, as you know the pressure the pressure of the jaw. Uh, cartilage, and uh, the the uh, this is a, a most important most important causes of the bleeding. But uh, uh, the uh, stapling 
stable height of the stabling is uh, 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 higher, higher to uh, is not suit to uh, 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 arterial walls. The height of the arterial walls, uh, the the uh, the course is uh, uh, the another course. This is another course of the braiding of a pulmonary artery. So uh, mm, I don't know, uh, and uh, the uh, uh, which is uh, um, uh, more important to uh, for braiding and uh, effective on uh, uh, braiding of the pulmonary artery. Okay. Um, we also have a question uh, about uh, Signia. Do, do you know about the Signia, the newer, uh, the second version of the iDrive or iDrive 2? The, from, from Medtronic, yeah. iDrive uh, is the new version of the iDrive, yes. Right. So um, on this uh, Signia um, stapler, they have uh, what's called adaptive firing uh, technology. Um, so my understanding is that the speed of uh, the, the cartilage going forward with the staplers is uh, adjusted based on the pressure and also the thickness of mm. the, the tissue. Mm. So the thicker tissue will, will go slower. And also I think um, there's some uh, more there's some more uh, sensation or, or limitation of the pressure on the closure as well. So I think it may be a, it may address some of some of the issues that we have. Um, the the technology of the Medronic Stabra is a very very nice, very nice. But uh, uh, do you know the uh, Medronic Stabra is uh, has a tremor on a uh, uh, stapling. Uh, uh, slightly a uh, tremor uh, and uh, uh, the moving slightly on a uh, 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 stapling. So, uh, have you have you experienced to using an, uh, uh, a small diameter railroad over a metronic stapler? So, uh, the uh, as a uh, SDR small diameter railroad over a metronic stapler is the same. And uh, uh, the the stapling uh, there is a tremor, tremor, tremor on a uh, stapling. Uh, so uh, uh, it is uh, important to uh, stapling a slowly, slow mode with a slow mode. And uh, uh, on a slow, on a going slow mode, uh, the tremor is uh, uh, very. Uh, uh, Less, less, less than uh, the uh, me, uh, rapid or uh, median speed. Mm -hmm. So the, no, I, I do notice actually, um, and I, um, I I have mentioned that as well um, before to to them, uh, particularly when it first starts to fire. There's a little movement at the, yeah. at the beginning, yeah. and then as you say, if it goes very fast, there will be more of a yeah. tremor if it if the motor goes very fast down the cartilage um because i think apart from the compression you know one of the importance of having a uh, good hemostasis is for the staplers to be laid down very nicely to form the b shape very nicely um and that depends on a lot of factors um one of which is the speed of which you oh. push the cartilage mm -hmm. along the staples. So um, I've been taught for the for the manual staplers, you should squeeze slowly mm -hmm. and uh, consistently. Um, some sometimes I see the residents after they close it, they go <laughs> and, <laughs> and release. Four, yeah, one, yeah. two, three, four, off. You know, uh, doing it very quickly, and I, I, I really get quite um, concerned about that. Um, I would always do it very uh, consistent speed and slowly. Um, you, you don't gain any time by doing this and then coming off. Yeah, and you can you can tell if you do it very quickly. Actually, uh, when you open it, there are lots of staples that are not formed correctly, and um, I think a lot of uh, basic research by the the various companies have shown that 
um, quite uh, quite consistently as well. So um, that is another thing that I, I teach my residents to do. The other thing I teach my residents to do is um, if you have a if you have a, a, a pulmonary artery and this is the segmental artery and you put your stapler here, it's not to staple too close to the junction between the segmental and the main PA because there's a lot of stress here of the vessel opening up. So you may put your stapler across here to get the angle, but once you're in, you should just move it along a little bit away from there so that after you staple, there's a short stump here. Yeah, it's not right against the, the main pulmonary artery because there's a lot of stress that will so, yeah. open up the staples and it will it will it will bleed. So um, and quite rightly as well, your your twisting and your your tension uh, every time I remind my colleagues to uh, after they put the staple across to reduce the tension, rest the lung down back onto the hyler before you press the button to fire. So there's more tissue. Um, in between the, there's more tissue in between the, uh, the the cartilage and the anvil, so it's not stretched, it's not thinned out because of the tension so much. Um, uh, 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 you are a specialist over unipot butts. I, I do some. You know, so, butts, yeah. <laughs> uh, do do you think uh, the uh, difference? It is it is difficult to uh, uh, correct or stapling for unipot butts. No, it's. I think it's more difficult to get it into the angle to yeah. get it across the vessel. But normally, once you've got it across, in fact, um, you can release the pressure from the lung. You can you can release the tension. You you retract a lot of tissue to get the angle. But then once you're across, you can release the tension and then and then uh, staple. So. Um, I think at the point of stapling, when you're pressing the button, um, it's pretty much the same with multi-portal vats that you can um, release the tension from the re lung retraction before you press the fire button. Yeah. Um, so I see some more questions. Is that right? Um, any other questions? Let me see. Okay. So. Um, some more questions. Let's say, do you remove all the tissue around the PA till you see the shining PA wall? Uh, do, 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 do you do that all the time? Uh, Dr. Yoshio, uh, remove the sheath and remove the sheath of the artery and you're just left with the very, the last layer of the PA wall in your dissection. Dissection. Can you please comment to signal physics adopting fire technology? No, this uh, this one. Um, this one. Uh, the uh, Doctor Panarak says, uh, let's say you do you remove all the ah, tissue yeah, yeah, yeah. around see. the PA till you see the shining PA wall. Yeah. Do you remove all tissue around the PA? Uh, tell you, yeah, 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 yeah. Let you just uh, see the shining. You see the shining PA wall. Yet the another see the shining PA wall. They said you remove all this. I think that's the Japanese way, right? I think you remove the sheath. Hmm. Remove tissue around the PA till you see. The... <laughs> Oh, let's see. Do you remove? Do you remove all tissue around the PA? Around the PA? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, I will. What is it? Yes. What? What Yeah, I, I think you do, right? I think you do remove the sheath. You. I will remove all tissues around the PA. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, I can do it. For me, uh, not all the time. If if I can leave a bit more tissue on it, I I will leave it uh, a bit more tissue uh, around the PA. Uh, but sometimes it's not possible. So um, yeah. I I'm happy either way um, to to staple with or without the uh, 
the the the, the sheaf basically uh, we also have another question how frequent you have to restapler on top of the previous stapler in order to stop the bleeder in the pulmonary artery how frequent you have to restapler on to on on top of the previous stapler in order to stop the bleeding in the uh, no. No. very very uh, rarely I don't I, I, <laughs> I, uh, do you do that do you restaple a pa stump if it bleeds no no I, I, I don't, I don't I, do that. I, 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 have <laughs> I, I don't have experience the, uh, on, on to on, on a, a stable, double stable. Yeah, yeah. I think most of us uh, will uh, use some hemostat or a, a, or a diathermy if it's just the end of the vessel or just mm -hmm. put a stitch uh, if it's... Uh, Maybe a lot I will uh, select the, uh, a suture, suture yeah. with the material. Yeah, a suture or a tackle seal or something like that is yeah. possible sometimes. Yeah. Um, so, ah, uh, Dr. Suzuki, so uh, I may have missed your explanation. When you dissect pulmonary artery, yeah. do you pay attention to pre compression? Do you pay attention to pre compression? No, 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 I didn't pay attention to pre compression. <laughs> So may I may I miss you explain that when you dissect pulmonary artery, do you pay attention to pre-compression? Mm, no, I didn't pay attention to pre-compression. <laughs> okay. Mm. Um, do I I do, and, um, uh, 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 lifting and uh, 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 twisting. I uh, I I will perform. I make it a rule to uh, perform uh, uh, not to uh, lift lift and uh, uh, twist of a uh, pulmonary artery. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. The, uh, yeah, steep roads. Okay. Um, I, I I'm not sure if you mean pay attention to pre-compression, as in um, you would wait after you close the stapler for uh, a few a few seconds before you fire is that what dr suzuki means i am not uh, sure no no i compression didn't, i didn't do it well <laughs> yeah Sec a small seconds because um slowly, I think... I, I, gr slowly grasping and uh, uh slowly uh, uh stapling is uh, important uh, not to uh, uh, uh uh, not uh, to prevent a uh, bleeding of a pulmonary artery. Mm -hmm. Okay, <clears throat> great. Any other comments we have from the floor? Seems there are lots of uh, interesting um, opinions from from people uh, listening to this. Um, I've got oh from Adrian. The sheath around PA is the adventitial of the vessel that provides strength against vessel tearing mm. why dissect it away yeah 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 very very nice question <laughs> almost all japanese uh, uh japanese surgeon uh, is uh, uh dissect the uh primary uh vessel uh, uh sees uh, to uh, uh, dissect a uh, complete lymph node dissection. Uh, so uh, mm, the assist of the pulmonary artery is uh, containing of a uh, uh, lymph vessel and uh, uh, capillary of uh, uh, to uh, uh, metastasis for metastasis of cancer. So uh, 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 it is educate it. Uh, we we. We are educated to uh, uh, resect completely over uh, the uh, outer outer advancer, outer advancer of a vessel. So why dissect it away? It's a very nice nice question. But uh, uh, we are educated uh, uh, that uh, we should should uh, dissect 
the all all uh, uh, advent all uh, seas of the pulmonary artery. But in uh, uh, other countries, uh, it is nonsense. I, I think I think so. Okay, that's great. Um, so another comment that um, some um, some of our uh, audience use both staplers and they seem to be performing equally. Um, and uh, also asking you whether you have conducted research on systemic arteries, uh, such as in sequestration cases. So how does the stapler perform on um, not pulmonary arteries, but arteries that are more like systemic arteries, like in sequestration. Do you have any comment on that? With a thicker adventiture, with a thicker media layer. It's very difficult. I mean, I, I personally, when I staple it, a big artery coming off the systemic system, like the aorta, um, choosing the right height of the stapler is obviously important, but uh, it's after the closing, I want to have it, um, have a duration for it, for the wow. compression. Um, that's how I do it to um, try to minimize the problem it causes. Um, and then if it's, again, if it's uh, through a manual, I would squeeze a, a very slowly um, the trigger and and um, uh, in the same speed uh, for every squeeze across just to optimize all the factors um, to hopefully when you and say a little prayer before you release the, the stapler and hopefully it doesn't bleed um, the systemic um, system but normally that as you say the the wall of the arteries there's more material for the staplers to to grip onto the staples to grip onto, and I think as long as you choose the right um, staple, it's 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 not usually a big big problem um, for systemic arteries. Okay, so if there are um, no more questions or points for discussion, I think uh, we are come up to our one hour mark if there are no more questions and um if you do i'm sure you can actually um also uh, read uh, dr yoshio's paper um just published this year and uh, also i'm sure you can contact him for further advice on safe stapling um if you have any questions so um do you have any final comment dr yoshio for the audience any last comment for the audience before we close? Yeah. Uh, SM7 is a very nice, nice stapler. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, fantastic. Okay, so that was your conclusion. That's great. Okay, so um, thank you all very much uh, for attending this, um, this uh, seminar and um, um, hope to uh, see you again. And I'd like to thank um, Dr. Yoshio again for a very nice uh, presentation. And uh, now it's the evening time in Japan and uh, it's probably time for all of us to uh, get some rest in, in Asia. <laughs> so uh, with that, um, I'll conclude this uh, session. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you.